Hurricane force winds, feet of snow, tornadoes, record pressure levels. This March storm truly had it all. It's also why the bomb cyclone winds up at the number five spot on Weather Nation's top 10 weather events from 2019. You've probably heard about a storm bombing out or undergoing rapid intensification known officially as bombogenesis. The official definition of bombogenesis is a storm's central pressure dropping by 24 millibars in 24 hours or less. While this often happens with nor'easters on the eastern seaboard of the United States, it's highly unusual to see such rapid intensification over land as this bomb cyclone exploded with a 24 millibar pressure drop in just 16 hours. That meant that this storm was going to produce really bad weather for a big chunk of the country. While some of Colorado's mountains saw up to 50 inches of snow, this storm will mainly be remembered for two distinct things. One, the wind it produced, and two, the barometric pressure records that it set. Let's start with the wind. The peak gust from this storm was an 109 mile an hour wind gust in Grand Prairie, Texas, and at least five different states saw hurricane force wind gusts. Colorado Springs saw its strongest ever wind, a 96 mile an hour gust. Denver International Airport saw an 80 mile an hour gust, shutting down the airport for nearly 24 hours. But this storm will find itself in the record books for another reason, record setting barometric pressure. In Colorado, a new state low pressure record was set in Lamar with a 970 millibar reading confirmed by the Colorado Climate Center. The city of Clayton, New Mexico also recorded its lowest ever pressure reading, as did the cities of Pueblo and Alamosa, Colorado. As if that weren't enough, the warm side of the storm also produced dozens of tornadoes, including an EF2 twister near the city of Paducah, Kentucky, barely missing the National Weather Service's office in the city. Remember, you can find this and all of our top 10 weather events of 2019 on weathernationtv.com. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Chris Bianchi.